Esther 6.11a Vayikach haman et halevush ve'et hasus Vayalbesh et Mordokai Vayarkibuhu bikrov ha'ir Now, I've broken this verse at the Zakaf right here instead of at the Ethnach because I think it makes a little more sense, though technically I just want to point out that the Ethnach is here. That does bother me a little bit, but I'm good with it. Here we get Haman as the subject, and this Vav consecutive I'm going to take as logical succession. We've uh, talked about this before. The king tells him, take the clothes and the horse and go do this, and the logical succession is, and so, that's the logic, and so Haman took. Direct object marker, the clothes, and direct object marker, the horse. And so that logical succession idea. The verb here you may recognize as a call imperfect third masculine singular. The root is lakach. And again, notice that one lamed morphs like a one noon, and the lamed becomes this dagesh here in the kof. And so uh, probably a familiar form there, but if not, that's what's happening there. Uh, Vayikach. And Haman took the clothing and the horse, and then we see what he did with it. And he clothed, or caused to be clothed. Here's our hifil, uh, imperfect third masculine singular of the root, lavash. And he caused to be clothed, direct object, Mordecai. He clothed Mordecai. And another hifil, this time we have a hifil imperfect third masculine singular of the root resh kof bait to mount up or to ride. We do see here the third masculine singular suffix on this. And so the he of the subject is Haman again. And the him of the third masculine singular uh, is Mordecai. And so he, Haman, caused him, Mordecai, to mount up on the the horse or to ride in the open square of the city.